we have the Oscars that have just come out. Um, now, I will admit that I'm not a very big Oscar person, right? Um, it, it, the awards and stuff. I know my my contemporaries, my my uh, colleagues in the film critic space, they probably like, oh, what you mean you don't like the Oscars? Because I know for a lot of them, they love this stuff. And that's great. That's great. I'm happy for them. It's just not my thing. I didn't really grow up watching award shows. I don't really care about who won this and who won that. Now, I will have some interest in it, right? Like, because there are some movies that I do have to go watch because within my voting, you know, my uh, critic circles and stuff like that, and my associations, I do have to actually go and vote for a lot of these movies, right? Or not. So I do um, have skin in the game to that regard, but it's not something I like obsess about. You know, like, are we going to go live during the Oscars? I don't know. Probably not. Is Will Will Smith showing up? I'm saying that Will Smith show. No, he banned for like five years, so I guess not. But I'm just saying, like, if he were, you know, if there was something exciting happening at the Oscars, then yes, I would go live for that. Um, or better yet, I don't know. Maybe y'all want me to go live. Y'all let me know. Would you want to go live during the Oscars and we could kind of react at the same time? If, if that's something you guys are interested in, I will do it for y'all. I will show up. We can figure that out. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can get a couple guests on or something and we can do an Oscar night because who knows what could happen. You know, I don't know. I, I know I went live when the slap happened and that was crazy. That was crazy. But um, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all care about that or not. If you do, we'll figure it out. But anyway, um, the nominations have come out um, and, you know, I did kind of want to go over some of the nominations. I'm not going to go over all of them um, and just some things that I feel like I can at least give my opinion on. And, you know, and I'd like to hear some of y'all takes, too. If y'all care, if you don't, that's cool. I'll blow through them real fast, you know, so I'm, I'm not going to keep you too long. But let's kind of go through a couple of the nominations and I'll give you some of my takes on um, the ones that I'm that I think should win um, or will win um, or vice versa, whatever. But let's kind of go through them. So first up, we have uh, makeup and hairstyling. Um, I don't even know what Golda is. I'm sorry. I don't. Um, I would probably go with Maestro here. Uh, that was the one with Bradley Cooper, where my man literally turned into a completely different person. I think Bradley Cooper and Maestro, that makeup team, should win. Uh, production design, hell no, not Kills of the Flower Moon. Uh, poor th I'm gonna go with Barbie. Barbie really did look like you was in a Barbie world, you know. So I, I, I'm gonna go with Barbie for production design. Uh, sound, I don't care. I don't care about editing. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Costume design. Uh, let's see. Napoleon up and what? What costumes was y'all in? Y'all wasn't in no costume. Man, I'm gonna go with Barbie again for costume design. Um, everybody looked like a Barbie doll. Everybody. So yeah, I'll go with that. Cinematography. Um, I will admit I have not seen El Conde, so I'm you know I, I I will admit I don't know. I do not believe Killers of the Flower Moon uh had that. Maestro was okay, but I gotta give that to Oppenheimer. Um, yeah, Oppenheimer and cinematography. I mean, my man did some great work with that. Uh, original score. Oh. I will say that right now I am very, very, very disappointed that uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse did not get original score. Um, I think it just, I, there's, no, I'm trying to think of who's even, I don't know why Killers is up there for original score. I, I It's not something that drew me. It's not something that got me, but I think the easy bet will be Indiana Jones. I think that'll be an easy one to get for, um, for that, but you know we'll see uh that'll be my pick visuals oh now this is interesting the creator that had some interesting visuals okay the creator with all them little uh robot head peoples and stuff that was cool godzilla minus one listen that one right there could be the hit I, matter of fact let me go ahead and put it in now you know because godzilla minus one imagine making a movie for a budget of 15 million dollars and you are competing with other movies that cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Guardians was nice. Guardians, they actually let the VFX people cook, finally. Thank you, Marvel. But dang it, if you letting that, I'm rooting for the underdog. I'm rooting for the big lizard underdog. Because the fact that y'all made me scared of this fake practical effect looking Godzilla, when that thing was chasing them in the waters, I was like, nah, G, nah, G, couldn't be me, could not be me. I think that needs to go to uh, Godzilla right there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Original screenplay, okay. 
Uh, I did not see Anatomy of a Fall. Uh, it just, I just, it just did not even make my radar until it was too late. Uh, May December past live maestro. Mm. I'm gonna be a little biased here, and I'm gonna say maestro because I just like maestro. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, so I, I'll give it to that. But I would not be surprised if Holdovers wins this. Wouldn't be surprised, but my pick will be Maestro. Uh, now, adapted screenplay, Zone of Interest, that also did not make it to my, um, that didn't make my list either. Poor Things, maybe. <sighs> I'm going with American Fiction. I don't care. I'm going with American Fiction. I know they said Barbie. I think it was uh, Judd Apatow was like, how the hell is Barbie a, a, an adapted screenplay? What Barbie book did they take it from? You know, like Barbie, what are you adapting Barbie from? The whole story felt original. You know, so I don't know why Barbie's not an original either, um, but I'm going to go with American Fiction because that right there to me was a fantastic film. And I'm so glad that it's getting the uh, the attention that I think it deserves. And if you haven't seen American Fiction, please go ahead and see that. Now, animated feature, I'm not going to waste no time. It's got to be Spider-Man. OK, if it ain't Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, throw the entire Oscars away. There might be some BS in the works with this boy in the hair on. I don't care what they say. This. Ain't got no business hanging with Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. No disrespect to anybody involved. All I'm saying is across the Spider-Verse was that damn good. Okay. We're going to talk about snubs in a second. Across the Spider-Verse should have been nominated for best picture. Not just best animated, best picture. There was another snub here, but we ain't going to get to that yet. So in my opinion, this needs to win. No questions asked. Okay. And let me just say this too. Let me Let me just put this out there real quick. I really, really do question the people because I think it was the Golden Globes. The Golden Globes gave um, the boy and the heron best animated over across the Spider-Verse. Now, keep in mind, Golden Globes is a, uh, uh, made up of a lot of international, you know, press. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, y'all just don't watch anime. Y'all don't watch animation because if y'all thought that one movie was better than across the Spider-Verse, I have to question what other animated things do you watch on the regular? Because I get the impression that that whole Studio Ghibli or whatever, I only hear a very small select group of people within the, the, the movie community hype them up. But what I also notice is that same people that like all those, you know, the, uh, the Spirited Away and the Boy and the Heron, and they th those people that love those animated movies, I rarely hear them talk about anything else animated. I rarely see these people look at any other animated TV series or animated movie. So for me, I'm like, are you only voting for them? Because one, you only heard this name. So you think you have to vote for them or two, you just don't watch anything else. Cause I'm like, I don't see how across the Spider-Verse could not have been the unanimous choice. Clearly I feel some type of way about this. Let's move on. Best director. Whew, uh, I can't speak for Anatomy of a Fall, but that was such a late one. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely, no, no for Scorsese, no. Poor thing, uh, I think that's got to go to Nolan. Nolan's been sweeping so far. Um, I just, I don't know. I think that's got to go to Nolan. I think it has to. Like, my man is doing the work. You made a scientist, a movie about a scientist and an A-bomb, almost make a billion dollars do you know how hard that is that like at no time at no time would that have been something anyone would have predicted and yes we will get to the snubs because there are clearly some snubs here but then we go to best supporting um i i i don't know why america Ferrera is on here in my opinion i don't think that she had one of the better performances comp in this competition here I also would not have put Emily Blunt here, but I understand why she's there. I think a lot of people might really want her to win. I think Divine Joy Randolph will probably win. But my personal pick is Miss Sophia, Miss Sophia. D no, Daniel, hell no. And The Color Purple, man, if she didn't almost steal this movie, I didn't know who did. So yeah, my personal pick is Danielle. I think Divine is going to win, which I'm fine with too. But Danielle, to me, blew it all out the water. Best Supporting Actor. Uh... Oh, this is a clear one for me. It's definitely not Robert De Niro. Definitely not. 
Not the way that man was like just uh, 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 casually, you know, walking throughout this movie. Nah, G, that definitely wasn't you. Sterling K. Brown, love that brother. That brother right there is fantastic. And I really want to vote for him too. I really do. I can see why some people might say Ryan Gosling. Ken kind of stole the movie. Ken did kind of steal the movie. But damn it, I got to go with my man Robert Downey Jr. Okay. My man in Oppenheimer turned that whole movie around. That, he was like, look, I told y'all I could still act. Y'all didn't go see Dr. Doolittle, but y'all saw me here in Oppenheimer. He did his thing. He did his thing. I, I have to, I, I, y'all know I want to vote for my man Sterling. But Robert didn't. Robert came through. Robert came through. Ah, oh, man. Just, just, oh, that guy. I did not like him. <laughs> he played his character a little too well. Uh, now, best actress. I know this one's going to be kind of tough. Um, now, I would say personally, I really like Carrie Mulligan in Maestro. I thought she did a fantastic job, but I just don't think she's going to get the votes. Um, I personally would vote for Carrie Mulligan. That's my personal E Man pick, but I already understand that won't, I doubt that will be the winner. I think even though Lily Gladstone would be a fantastic one, here's my only argument as to why I would not give it to Lily. I The only reason I wouldn't give it to Lily is not because of her performance or lack thereof. It's really because of how the film portrayed her. I'm sorry. It's how the film basically left her out. The film probably should have given her more time to eat rather than trying to focus on Leo's boring character that I did not care about. I did not care about Leonardo DiCaprio's character whatsoever. Her character, amazing. Her character, I wanted to see more of that. Show me more of that, 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 that indigenous pain. Show me some of that, that conflict. Show me how the, the, the love. Show me the, the hurt. Show me that. But you done let that woman off the movie for like 30 minutes. To go chase Leo and his dumb character and, and to sit here and have Robert De Niro. I'm sitting there like, I don't care about neither one of y'all. Can we go talk about the indigenous people, please? So I think the film, for me, if I was an Academy voter, the film hurt her chances to me. They hurt him to me. Um, but I think that what you will see, if I had to predict, I think it's going to go to Emma Stone and poor things. Um, I'm not going to vote for that but i think i think that's where it's gonna go i think that's where it's gonna go uh let's see best actor now 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 this one's gonna be tough Woo! okay this one this okay all right hold on best actor is gonna be tough let me oh this 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 is this this is gonna be a tough one i love my man jeffrey wright jeffrey wright is my guy that that right there is my boy but i can't give it to him right here not in this one i've seen jeffrey wright do more with less and he didn't do a lot in this one so and i'm just judging by competition now by what's what the competition is there I'm not saying he was bad because i really enjoyed him i'm just saying compared to the other folks i don't think he's up there yet <sighs> coleman domingo fantastic performance but the movie also didn't really move me rustin was okay his performance my man completely transformed because that's what he does that's what he does is transform so I got my two favorites up here with Jeffrey Wright and Coleman, but I just don't think they're going to have enough. Killian Murphy, I think, was fantastic in Oppenheimer. I think the only push I would give to Killian is Oppenheimer had so much more going on. Like you were jumping around and there were so many other strong performances. I felt as though Killian might have been swallowed up just a little bit. Not saying he was bad at all. Okay, we're, we're arguing about five really good performances here right i think if i'm giving my personal pick i would give it to bradley cooper that's me i'm giving it to bradley cooper for my personal pick but i don't think bradley's gonna win and i think that right now for whatever reason paul giamatti might win this all for the holdovers um i don't agree with it and that's not saying that paul wasn't good I just I just feel as though Bradley really, really immersed himself into that role 
where he literally disappeared into somebody else. Um, he was swallowed. <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> That's why I don't look at y'all comments all the time. See, uh, but yeah, I would give it to Bradley Cooper, but um, I think Paul Giamatti might win that for sure. Uh, then of course, this leaves us the best picture. Um, and there are obviously 10 pictures here. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Best picture. Oh, I want to vote American fiction so bad. I don't know about Anatomy to Fall. I'm not going to say that. I don't think Holdovers. Barbie, man. Killers, hell no. Maestro, not really. I think that's going to be Oppenheimer. I think that's going to be Oppenheimer for best best picture. Um, I would not be surprised if Holdovers wins, but I think they're going to give him the due because if, if Christopher Nolan is going to win best director, how do you not give him best picture? And I think he's going to win best director. That's why I'm taking Oppenheimer over all of them. So I'm going with that um, for best picture. Now, of course, as mentioned before, we got some snubs. There were a lot of people left off. And of course, there were a lot of people talking about Barbie um, did not get on there. Now, you know, let's kind of go over a couple of them here. Um Margot Robbie, Greta Gerwig, that's the director right there. Um, and by the way, I met Greta. She is so nice. Like, she is the sweetest person. You could tell that, you know, she is super humble as well. Uh, Margot was in the room. I couldn't make my way. I couldn't get there. I tried, though, but I couldn't get there. Um, but it says here that, you know, both Margot and Greta were snubbed. Um, Greta, I think. Now, I don't think Margot needed to be up there. I don't think she needed it. Like. Let's see, who are the best actress? Lily. I don't know. Maybe the, the Anatomy of a Fall. Maybe. Maybe Annette Benning. You know, I didn't watch Naya, so I, I don't know. Um, but Greta Gerwig should have absolutely been up there for best director. A hundred percent. Like that right there, I think, is more of an egregious thing because again, how are you gonna sit here and have this as a best picture nomination and you're not gonna have the director? Like, I feel like that should go hand in hand. Now, who's gonna get kicked off? I don't know. Zone of interest maybe could get kicked off. Anatomy of a Fall maybe could get kicked off for Barbie. Um, it's a whole lot of white men here. It's a whole lot of men, um, you know, which is part of the, you know, it's part of the, the Academy, right? Um, now, granted, I haven't seen those movies, so I'm not going to, I don't know. I don't know. But I would have kicked off Martin Scorsese. I know nobody else has the guts to say that, and nobody else would do that. I already know that. I would have kicked him off because I really think that Kills of the Flower Moon was incredibly overrated incredibly overrated and i think that that movie benefits from the legacy of scorsese rather than its own merits and i would challenge any of my little film bros we can have that debate if you want to um but yeah that, that it's the same thing with the irishman like the irishman would if anybody else's name that was not scorsese was on the irishman people would trash that movie they would trash it but because he is who he is, he gets that little legacy bump where it's like, well, Scorsese could never make anything bad. So we have to give it the automatic pass. Miss me with that. I don't care. So I would have taken him off and I would have put Greta on there instead. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of the surprises was America Ferreira. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I was surprised, too. What America had what? One two minute speech in Barbie. I mean, the speech was cool and all, but that that was it. I, get, I mean, I, I did not think America did enough in this movie, in Barbie, to, to just catapult to Best Supporting Actress. Now, this is no shade to her, because I do think she is a good actress. I'm just saying in this particular role, compared to all the other people that were out there doing other movies, I think she, I, I, she could have been in top 10, top 5. I don't know. That was definitely a surprise. Um, who else they said was a, a surprise? They said, uh, as a snub, Leonardo DiCaprio was a snub. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. There was no need for Leo to be best actor in this. Best actor in what? What did he do in Killers of the Flower Moon? As good as we know Leonardo DiCaprio is. And keep this in mind, I'm a huge Leo fan. But as good as that man was and how he is as an actor, what did he do in Killers of the Flower Moon that just deserves to be best actor? Top five of that, too? Are you kidding me? No, no, not in that. I've seen Leo do better with worse. 
again, this is that whole legacy thing. Well, if De Niro and Scorsese and Leo are in a movie, then it's got to be good, right? No, no, man, no. That ain't no dang on snub. That's a, that's right. That's right. Get out of here with that. Uh, let's see. They said uh, Charles Melton and the cast from uh, May, December were snub. Now, I'll, I'll say this. Like, you know, I've heard more people really like Charles Melton's performance. I, I'm not going to debate it. That's fine. If y'all think that was a snub, that's cool. Um, surprise, Sandra. I can't say that name. Uh, Hooler uh, in Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, that's a surprise because I had no idea what this movie was until like recently. You know, and it's just one of those things where like, you know, as a critic, especially if you don't go to all the film festivals and stuff like that, there are so many movies that like we get I get mailed so much stuff. All of us. Right. Like if you're on a voting body or whatever, you get mailed a fulfillion DVDs for movies that are in contention. But you don't know which one is going to be, you know, the next one or the thing you got to watch. You don't know. So a lot of times you just going to watch what you have time for. I don't even know if I got Anatomy of the Fall. Like, maybe I did. But I, in the pile of 40 DVDs, I don't know. I didn't have time for that, you know? Um, so that was definitely a surprise. Um, but by the way, and this is also another reason, I'm going to give you a little inside game. This is one of the reasons why studios will fly you out to go see their movie because they're like, look, we're not saying that you have to vote for this movie because we flew you out. We just want to make sure you've seen it because we know you're swamped with a bunch of stuff. So. It would behoove studios out there. Ain't no studios watching me, but I'm just saying, if you're a movie studio and you want uh, uh, film critics or Academy members or whoever to vote for your stuff, you better find a way to get them because when we got 50 movies to figure out what we want to see, it's kind of hard not to go see a movie that you flew me out for and that you gave me a screening to watch. Now, again, that doesn't guarantee I'll vote for it, but at least I could say I've seen it and now I can put it into contention. So, you know, this was definitely a surprise because, like I said, I didn't see this coming at all. Um, what else they got? A snub. Eric Roth and Martin Scorsese for screenwriting Killers of the Flower Moon. No. No. Not a snub. Not at all. No. It was not written very well. I did not need to see. And it was crazy because it was reported that Leonardo DiCaprio, when he got on the project, he saw the original script and he told, um, he told uh, uh, Scorsese that they got to change up the script because apparently the script before was all about from the, the FBI's perspective. So let me get this straight. You were sitting here trying to make a movie from the perspective, you know, about the tragedy for this Osage like a uh, 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 tribe. And I apologize if I mispronounced that. You were making a movie about the tragedy of this tribe. And you said, let me do it from the Popo's perspective. Let, let me do it from the opposition. Let me do it from the, from the perspective of the ops. And then when Leo came, he said, nah, don't do that. Let's change that up. What did they change? We're not going to do it from the FBI perspective. We're going to do it from the white man's perspective. Hell no, y'all wasn't snub. Get out of my face. No, nothing. At no point did you think that maybe you could take the perspective from the actual victims? You didn't think that would have been? Maybe. Just try. Yeah, absolutely not a snub. Don't care. Nope. Nothing. Anything Killers of the Flower Moon does not earn, I'm very okay with. I don't care. No, no, not this. No. What else? Roseman Pike as a emerald, uh, an emerald fennel, fennel for salt burn. Roseman Pike for supporting actress. Nope, not a snub. Neither one of them. Nope. Director. Nope. Salt burn. I did watch Salt Burn because it, ugh. Salt Burn has a lot of extra going on. OK, so I'm not going to say don't watch it. I'm not going to say to watch it, but. Prepare yourself if you do watch it, um, but no uh, supporting actress, writing, directing. I don't I think Saltburn had more so buzz because of how outlandish it was and how crazy it was rather than how well it was put together or how strong the performances were um, giving me something eccentric does not mean best movie, you know, in, in my opinion, or best performances because you got a scene with a bathtub. You know, like, I'm straight on that, you know, literally. Um, but um, let's see, what else was there? There was one last surprise. And yeah, visual effects, Godzilla minus one. We already talked about that. Absolutely. That was definitely a surprise because who knew a low-budget movie was going to compete with these $100 million visual effects and still compete? 
I am rooting so hard for Godzilla minus one. So, so hard. But anyway, guys, that is it for the Oscar roundup. Uh, I gave you my picks. I gave you my predictions. I gave you my thoughts. You guys, now, let me know what you think about a lot of those um, and share them in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think got snubbed? Who are you looking forward to if you are watching? Um, and do you want me to go live? Do you want to talk about it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever you think, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just the segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.